I have this shoe with a review of an ASICS basketball shoe. This is the... The name is so stupid that I have to look at it and let out another sigh again. It's like they jumbled up some alphabets and saw what they could pick up. It's called Unpre Ars. Unpre Ars. Yes. It's... But the shoe is not ours. It's actually pretty good. Uh, the name supposedly means a short form for unpredictable, unpre, and ours is supposed to be Greek for uh, fluid movement, whatever, yeah, grace technique. So unpredictable skills or something like that, but they could have come up with a better name. So yeah, this for this shoe, it's for size nine and a half, it weighs about 414 grams, and it feels as heavy, if not heavier than what the digits show. It's a pretty um, substantial, hefty, bottom heavy shoe. This is a shoe that's sort of like a PE or a signature for a Japanese player who just made it into the NBA, who has been wowing the world with this amazing uh, display of skills, leadership, playmaking, and scoring at the uh, FIBA Basketball World Cup and the Olympics, Kawamura Yuki. Uh, guys, the guy is like basically Muggsy Bogues that can score. It's incredible. The guy is barely 5'7", and he can do it all. It's crazy. So this shoe was made with a lot of uh, his uh, requests taken into consideration. This is a super low cut shoe and this is actually much, much lower than what normal low cut shoes are like. You actually feel your ankles are very exposed and naked. Uh, but still, it's got a pretty wide base and a really solid outrigger uh, uh, side wing to prevent ankle rollover. But still, if you're used to having something more substantial around your ankle, even the Ja ones or most other low-cut Nike shoes these days, they're not that low as to expose your entire ankle. So, But that's what the player wanted, that freedom of movement. So take that into consideration. Other than that, everywhere else, the padding is great. Nothing pinching. And there's a... Uh, the heel lockdown is pretty good. There's no crazy slippage. Overall, this is a uh, the the fit. I would say you can go true to size, and for wide footers, you might feel a bit of a pinching. So maybe you want to go up half a size. And if you have a very narrow foot and you like a tight fit, you might want to go even down half a size or try true to size first. But uh, the shoe overall, it's not that crazy narrow, uh, but it's not that crazy long either, and it's got a little bit of a sharp. Uh, pointy tip here so depending on the foot shape you might feel some pinch and sensation here every now and then uh, I went a half size up and it feels okay except there's a quite a lot of dead space on the toe box area so I feel the need to put some extra lace loops to make sure I can tighten this part as well otherwise I will feel a little bit more insecure than I should Another nice little touch here is that the ASICS logo we're used to seeing this this looks very cheap Although this is the original logo that started things before Nike. Uh, but this actually has some interesting motif. You see these uh, feather-like patterns? So this is supposed to say the shoe is inspired by a lot of elements about of the eagle or some kind of predatory bird. So there's feathers and uh, talon and those kind of motif all around the shoe. Although it looks simple from afar. Uh, breathability, not too bad. Uh, on the sides, there's uh, a lot of... Uh, fused material that's kind of starchy that so that's not crazy breathable but the tongue is super breathable but it's well patterned all around um cushioning they've they've got the uh the flight foam i'm not too sure about the name flight foam light or it's basically the same kind of foam they use for their premier running shoes like the kayanos and the nimbus except this they probably control the uh the density a little bit because it's for basketball for a lot of uh quick rebound and compression and um, shock absorption so this shoe feels very low to the ground at the same time there is adequate cushioning all around uh, compared to all the other previous a6 basketball shoes this has the best cushioning because previously they just they were just low to the ground and you feel your bone uh, absorbing the vibration and shock this is really good compared to this previous garbage a6 shoes and uh it's very low to the ground, but I did not feel like the heel is super fluffy in con contrast to having a very hard forefoot. So it's got a nice balance where the heel doesn't feel like it's like sinking or getting flattened or that you are uh, that you don't have a heel to toe drop. There is a decent heel to toe drop you can feel because of the density control they did for the foams. And 
it looks invisible but there's a different density basically almost rubble like foam here that ensures that it's uh, providing uh, torsional rigidity to prevent warping and yeah the same goes for the side walls or outriggers the foam is pretty uh, slightly firmer and they provide good anti-ankle rollover uh, mechanism there the traction is crazy um, think about this curry flows the traction is good but it's not durable the traction is good but it's foam so it's crazy stupid when it gets to dusty areas and also it's foam based not rubber so they wear out like uh, you know erases for a picasso who is sketching it's just all over the place this is actually solid rubber but the pattern is uh sort of like that grippiness that you get from flow type of outsole and it's not that dust sensitive you don't hear squeaks but you feel the sloppage the whole pattern and the width and the cut of the shoe was made with Yuki Kawamura's uh, request to make sure there's a lot of support for side-to-side -side movement and sudden change of uh, movements, especially for spin moves, quick spin moves. So the traction is really good. What else can I say? The insole, I wish they had something more substantial. This insole is actually heavy and not that great. So the insole is garbage. I would suggest get rid of that, get anything else but that. Uh, if you like your shoes really low to the ground, you should be good with anything. If you like some additional cushioning, I would suggest an insole that's a slightly thicker EVA or otherwise would go nicely because the cushioning itself is not too bad, but uh, without a proper insole, it's very low to the ground. Overall, the, the cushioning feels like flow, flows or the old school Adidas um, boost foam that you don't really feel. So it's sort of like that slightly better or close to that um yeah low to the ground decent cushioning that you can feel something that would not give you blisters but something that would not be the best shock absorbers what else can i say about this shoe uh the price it's gone down quite significantly it's been out for a, well, more than a year already um depending on the colorway you can get them for like under a hundred dollars but of course I don't know if it's available in your country, but in Korea, this is not a general release it, among ASIC shoes. For some reason, they didn't bring the basket, the best basketball shoe from ASICs to be widely available in Korea. So if I ordered overseas, you got the additional cost. So it will still, it will still be around a hundred dollars or less. But definitely, the shoe was worth it, especially because this is a, a historic shoe that's being worn by arguably, arguably the best Asian player ever to play. In the international stage and in the uh, in the nba uh you want to say jeremy lin or uh there's a center from korea that's like seven seven called hasing jin if you want to, or yao ming those giants giants don't count uh jeremy lin's practically american and you know the guy's six three so this dude is five six yeah uh so this is definitely a keeper but in terms of performance again i will tell you this is a pretty minimal shoe not crazy not zoom air not boost but it definitely feels more plusher and it feels like a basketball shoe more rigid version of your typical a6 running shoes because a6 make great running shoes but for some reason their basketball shoes were just you know garbage so uh, among all the basketball shoes from a6 that i've tried this is the best this is the pinnacle